Welcome back. It's me, Jenny. How's everyone doing today? Okay, so we have a, I guess, project share and maybe also tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how I created this cover for this album that I'm making for two of my friends at work. This is going to be a like kind of like a pregnancy album. It's not a baby book. It's more of like um, an album that they can document the journey through the pregnancy. And so I've been working on this today and actually I need to make two. I have this one that I, I also am going to do with you guys on camera and I just finished doing this one. And it's kind of simple, it's pretty. I, I like the cover. Um, I was a little bit um, undecisive on the cover because I wasn't really sure about the colors. But I, did, I do like how it did turn out. It's very simple, but it's also very pretty. The flowers that I use for the cover is the flowers from like a collection, which is the one from Color Splash. Um, this was out a few months ago. Um, and I bought a lot of stuff from this collection because they had them on clearance. And so I remember that I had these flowers and I went back and I searched for them and I was able to locate them. So yeah, so I want to show you guys how to create this really pretty simple cover. I'm going to also maybe like show you the inside of the book. I'm not quite finished exactly yet with the inside of the book i already have the layout all perfectly done which i'm very excited about but the only thing that i do need to do is try to figure out how to create the um the week the weeks so for example i have here four weeks which i use a sticker that i had upstairs and I still need to finish doing that for the rest of the pages. But anything other than that, I'm basically done. Isn't that cute, the cover? I love that. With the little belly. I just thought it was so cute. Um, and the cover, these both um, albums are the same, okay? They're both the same because they're both having babies. And I didn't want them to get mad at me. So I had to keep everything exactly the same. <laughs> so I make sure. So... Let's create the cover for the second album that I have here. I'm going to keep this on the sides just to help me guide myself um, exactly how to create it. Now, the flowers, what I did with the flowers is very simple. All I did was I just basically layered, layered them down onto each other. I try to keep it like big, medium, and small. And I kind of layered them into three um, layers, okay? So I'll do one with you so you can have an idea. So I just basically put a little dot of blue in the center. And I layered one flower. And then I put another little dot of glue. And then I layered the second flower. Okay, and then I did that. Like you see here for all the for all the flowers okay so I have my flowers already glued down as you can see here okay and I also need to do two more so let me do these two this is very simple cover but it's so pretty I do like it um, I didn't want to go too crazy with my cover because I don't want it to be like overwhelming, you know. I don't I don't really want it to like really be too overwhelming of a album cover. Um and so I try to keep it a little as simple as possible. But still kind of pretty and look, you know, pretty and cute looking. Okay, so let's let's build the let, let's build the cover. So I'm using this disc from Michaels. You guys know how obsessed I am about this disc. I love it. It's my favorite item um, right now that I'm using. I'm going to hot glue this disc onto my cover, and I'm trying to just like hot glue it in areas where. You can't really see the hot glue. 
Okay. And now we're going to add this cute little tag that I found. It says Sweet Memories. I thought that would be appropriate to add to this album. Do you guys want me to come a little closer? Hold on. Come a little closer so you guys can see. I think that's close enough, right? Hope so. Okay, so I'm going to add this tag. Just gonna add a little bit of hot glue on the side. I'm not gonna really go too much crazy with the hot glue because I don't want us to go too messy. Okay. All right. And then we're going to add the butterfly right tucked in the tag. This butterfly is also from the same collection of um, Color Splash. I'm just gonna tuck this butterfly in like this. It looks like it's kind of flying away. I love that. Okay. And then we're going to kind of layer the flowers. Oh, before we layer the flowers, I have to add the pom-poms. Cause I hear, as you can see here, I added little pom-poms in the circle of the flower. I was gonna add some buttons, but I kind of like opted the buttons and I kept the pom-poms because it's kind of very like, I don't know, playful and it looks pretty. So I'm going to add some pom-poms to the middle of my flower. Okay. Got some big pom-poms and you got some small pom-poms. So now, let's see, I have the pom-poms on my flower. I still have these over here. I might need to add more pom-poms on this one. So let's see if we find maybe a pink one, maybe a white, and maybe a lighter pink. If we have, yeah, this one right here. Okay. So let's add some pom-poms to these right here. And then let's add this big pom-pom to this one. And then you got a tiny one here that we're going to add to this one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to layer these flowers and try to be as the same as this one it's gonna be a little hard to keep it cohesive but we'll try so I think we have something like this something like this and then we have a bigger one here a smaller one here No, we got this one here, and maybe this one here, okay? And then, let's see, you got one, two, one, two. You got three in the center, so you got one, two here, and then you got three over here. And then you got two over here. So that's that's how we're gonna do that. See that? This is extra, but that's okay. So that's how we're gonna put the little album together. All right, so let's glue these down. So we got one here. 
and you got one right there. We got one over here, one over here, and one over here. See that? That looks kind of the same. And then we got two down here. And that, it looks almost the same. It's not gonna be exactly the same, but it's very, very close, as you can see. Very close. I love it. Okay, I have to add the bow like I did here. So I have this gorgeous, gorgeous trim. Actually, this is more like a tool, and I love it. This is beautiful. I have a roll of this upstairs. Um, I got this at the thrift shop a while ago. I'm talking about like years ago, and I just love it. I only use it for like special occasions because it is just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but it is just the most beautiful um, tool you have ever seen in your life. It's absolutely beautiful. It's pinky and it has these like like spots of um, gold like kind of like I don't know it's more like glitter but I don't know it's just really beautiful. I love it. I really do love this tool. Okay so I'm gonna put a nice decent sized bow in the center of my um, my gold pick okay just something like this right in the center I think this one is too big make it a little bit smaller right there see that so I'm gonna hot glue this bow on the back and we're gonna add this right in the center of our pick and that looks beautiful so beautiful i love it see that and we're almost done i only need to do two more things which is to add a little butterfly right here which i did on this one right here i added a little blue butterfly i wish i had a different color but i didn't have any other butterflies like this so i said okay i'll just add the blue i would have liked it to be pink but I guess blue it would have to be so I'm gonna add the butterfly roughly right in here and it looks like the butterfly is kind of flying away I don't know if you can pick that up in camera you probably can but the little wings are like looks like it's kind of flying away and I thought that was a really nice touch love that these flowers look so these not flowers these butterflies look so realistic it's amazing I think I got that at a dollar store too. Okay. One more thing and then we're done. Which is to add my little ribbon to my tag. So I'm gonna sw I'm gonna swing right through so I can add this pretty little ribbon onto my tag. And then I'm basically done with the front cover. Okay. And you've got, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you, you will probably see me posting a lot of these, um, you know, projects that I'm doing. I'm taking pictures of a lot of the pages that I'm doing in this album, and I'm posting them on Instagram. So, um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram if you want to see what this looks like inside. I was going to actually do a video showing you guys when I'm finished with the album how it looks like inside but I, I don't know if you guys really want to see something like that I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing my album this didn't work out this ribbon hold on I gotta do that again um if you guys are interested in seeing how the album came out I could do like a little flip through of the finished album if you guys want to see it um let me know Make sure you thumbs up 
and make sure you comment and let me know just a simple yes would work for me if I get a few yeses then we'll do we'll I'll do an inside like you know quick review of what how I did it the inside I I, I really do love how this layout came out in the inside I really do think it came out so pretty but again there's a few other things that I need to kind of um, go through before I'm able to gift this away so this is my finished cover of my album I think it came out so pretty I love it I thought for a minute that I wasn't going to love this cover because it's not really exactly something that I am typically doing I like to do a lot of flowers and I like to like really embellish things but I didn't want to go too crazy with my cover I thought it came out so pretty I, it's simple but it's really um, I don't know unique and it's just it just gives a lot of interest to the album um, and I just love how this little tag says sweet memories so that it's definitely going to work perfect with um, this album the only one more thing that I wanted to do but I'm not quite sure if I want to do it I wanted to add these white little tiny clothes pins and I was thinking of hot gluing it to the middle of the um, this bow so they can kind of like hang something if they want in in the little clothes pin but I'm not sure if I really want to do that so for now I'm just keeping it on to like attached to the tag for now and then maybe I'll just do it like that I'll just keep it like that because I really do not want to touch this bow I think this this bow is so so pretty on its own so I kind of just want to leave it alone so tell me what you guys think about my cover. Do you think my, my friends are going to love it? I hope they do. I'm a little nervous that they might not like it. But I, I think that they will. Um, I think that they'll like it. They really like anything that I make. So I, I think they'll be okay with this cover. Um, and I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that I can finish this album quick so I can give this to them. I, I need to be finishing this. This album needed to be done like a week ago. And with my Christmas series and everything else that I'm doing, I'm kind of a little behind. So I definitely need to finish this album in a few days because I do not want to hold on to it any longer. I want to give this to them so they can start documenting their memories in the album. So yeah so let me let me know what you guys think about the album cover i hope you guys love it as much as i do um if you guys want to see like a small little like flip through of the inside album once it's done let me know thumbs up um and just say yes you want to see the inside and i'll i'll do like a quick video showing you guys the finished look once i'm done which i should be done in another i don't know two three hours so um so yeah all right, honeys, um, I hope you guys like this short video. I just wanted to show you really quickly um, how I put together this album, and I thought it would be a good idea. Maybe somebody, you know, is looking to do an album and they need some ideas. Hopefully this can um, give you some ideas. Let me know what you guys think, and that's it. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys so much for your um, support, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, honeys. Have a fantastic weekend.